hi youtube hi everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is a beast lady and i like to welcome you especially to my youtube channel guys i want to welcome you first of all if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel please i'd like you to hit the button link and subscribe guys today we are going to be talking about 10 plus reasons why you cannot cook this one sucks guys <laughs> if you cannot cook have money at least money will be able to solve part of your problem you know there is a difference between cooking i cannot cook and you are cooking some people some of the things they cook you can't even taste it with your mouth once you put it inside your mouth it's done you see all those instagram food facebook reels that will watch TikTok, all those videos beautiful fine food videos they are prepared with money or bought with money either you buy or you cook definitely you must buy but i am so excited because if you cannot cook you are going to be making our food vendors millionaires food vendors you know what you want so today i am going to be telling you the 10 plus reasons why you cannot cook number one you are impatient you know food process food preparation it takes steps it takes procedures and if you don't have the patient to be follow it to, to be able to follow it step by step you will not be able to make it just like when you watch uh, cc yemi cc jimaima and tifi kitchen and they said they want to maybe prepare smoky jollof rice guys when you watch you say number one rice number two this da, 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 da. if you just want to cook sharp sharp rice pour it up and down pour it anyhow you want to pour it the smoky jollof rice is not going to come out true of us i know i'm not lying it's not you're not going to have it that smoky type number two you are too proud humble yourself you cannot cook and you are still proud you're just looking at yourself how can i enter that kitchen that place the heat is too much i cannot enter there Humble yourself. And some people even look at, oh, me, a home, me. That's why you just they do a home, me, a home, me, a make her leave you. Don't carry chichi. You understand? Number three, you're not interested. It doesn't bother you. You don't care. Me, I don't care too. Because who goes so far? I will never, I will not suffer it, guys. You understand? Some people are not even interested. Anything that is happening there, that's why I said, if you cannot cook, have money. Money will be able to serve uh, to solve most of your problems you understand number four you don't ask questions of how certain meals were prepared some people cannot even ask questions once they see the food eh, is it not tomatoes and rice i know how to make it now and when you now go home you now do your own your own will not flop ask questions if you are opportune to be there and know who is making the food or maybe you went for a dinner or you went to your friend's place and you may ask questions how did you put this thing I was eating one certain salad. I didn't know they were putting the uh, apple cider vinegar inside the salad. And it tastes so nice. I love this taste. I didn't know oh, until I asked, please. When I, each time I still do my salad, it will not come out that way. And I asked, what are you guys putting? They said, apple cider. It tastes so nice, guys. Number five. You're always blaming your mother. Your mother did not teach me. My mother did not teach me how to cook. And I cannot cook now because my mother. If your mother did not teach you. Baby girl, teach yourself. You're a grown up. And I know maybe when, why growing up, your mother was calling you. Come and do this. Come and do that. But, hey, mommy, I'm busy. You're busy pressing your phone. You're busy watching Telemundo. You are busy. Every time you are busy. And right now, time don't reach now. I got more results. You're blaming your mother. It's not your mother's fault because she has been feeding you with food. She understand? I know some mothers, they used to call their picking. It was my mother that taught me how to cook. She went to catering school, but me, I learned from her. The only thing I cannot do is most times baking things, all those things are my problem. But as for kitchen, cooking, 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 I can do that one. Then number six, you complain too much. Literally everything you are complaining about, and eh, there's too much salt, and eh, there must there is too much maggi. Eh, but when you want to make your own, go to market, you now buy white maggi. Haba, you're complaining. 
Some people say, eh? I don't know. Once they see the thing, they'll be doing. They don't even know how to cook anything. Number seven, you are lazy. Very, very lazy. Some people cannot even carry their body. They can't carry anything. Right now, if you, if, if you are very strong, it takes strong and strength to be able to enter kitchen, do whatever you want, and come out very sharp. I want to commend Hilda Bassi for cooking for 100 hours. It's not easy to cook for 100 hours. I remember when I was standing up five hours each day to cook, when I was running my restaurant. Sometimes I got used to it, but it's not easy. Some people, the only thing they know how to cook is indomie. Abby? Boiled egg and boiled water. That's the only thing. And they'll be going about hungry, calling people, begging. Eh, I'm not eating today now. Nah. What did you cook? Eh, they have everything in the house, though, but they cannot cook anything. Why? Number eight. Guys, you're a busy bee. You're a workaholic. You don't have time. There's no time for such. And these are the kind of people the food vendors are looking for. She understand? Eh, I need to order. I want to order this. I want to order that. She understand? You wake up 5.30 a.m., 5 o'clock, go to work 5.30, come back 12 p.m. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're working for the money. You're working for the money. So this one, it is not your fault. So that's why you cannot cook. Most of your things are by ordering, ordering, ordering if you have the money. The next one, number nine, I'm going to be talking about fashionista. You think it's fashionable not knowing how to cook a fashionista. Hi, my Gucci clothes now. Nah. Hey, look at me now. Nah. You know, see my eyelash, see my nose now. Nah. How bam. You want that thing to destroy it too? Oh. Mm, I cannot now. Nah. How bam. That's my reasons. Some people, they think it's fashionable. They just they carry body, you know. Yeah, you know, cannot they see my clothes. That's fine. Everly. But there are certain things that you can cook for yourself. Everything is not all about food vendor. There are things. And how many, how many, how many times are you going to pay for it? I know you have money. So let me not complain. Let me not ask you why. Let me not ask you any question. Then the next one is procrastination. That's the number 10. Some people are always procrastinating. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. And so they take enter well. Habba. You're procrastinating. Eh, I will. I will learn. I will. Eh, I will cook. I will this. At the end of the day, nothing, nothing. Then right now we're going to be talking about the plus. It's your mother's fault. Sorry, it's your mother's fault. Your mother did not teach you. My mother did not teach me how to cook. Those ones, there are some mothers there. Eh? If you want to do anything, eh, don't worry, oh, don't worry, my daughter. Ay, upon our um, eh, I'm preparing you for this one. They will not allow you to cook. And eh, this is my husband's house, so don't touch anything. Don't worry, I will take care of everything. When I now go to my husband's house, and eh, when you go to your husband's house, do the one by for now. This is my husband's house. They are the one doing everything for their kids. They don't even allow them to enter kitchen. Eh, hey, go and read your book. It's not all about reading your book. There are some practicals as well. You understand then the last one and not the least practice rehearse when you watch all those videos when you watch all those youtube videos fa um, facebook videos tiktok instagram reels food fancy ones all those big time go and rehearse practice makes perfect i remember my first vegetable soup the water was in the south the red oil was in the north and the vegetable was in the east. She understand. Separated. I didn't know what I was doing. No. My mother just bought those things and said, cook. Um, uh, River Niger. Swimming pool. As a, vegetable, as a vegetable soup. I was how old? I don't know. I can't remember. Me that kind 13 years old. That was when I prepared my first vegetable soup. Even my uh, first stew. Red stew. Tomato stew. Huh, it was nothing to write to my But right now, I think I am better. That's just it. And it pays to know how to cook. You can use it and make money. You can use it and make your house happy, your family happy. So many things they used to do. But it depends on you. Just like I said, if you cannot cook, have money. Money will be able to solve part of it. She understand? But there are comfort food that you want to make at home. You can lend them and do them. It's fun cooking. Me, I enjoyed cooking. So 
i think i'll be ending it here guys thank you for watching if you have not subscribed guys please please hit the button line subscribe to my youtube channel it's a baby girl a beast lady on the beats that's just it i make videos about food tips and other things but right now i like talking about food tips because it is very very important and why cooking learning cook cook healthy cook healthy cook healthy cook healthy don't cook the one way after five months the person don't catch uh, don't they sick she understand thank you guys thank you for watching Bye-bye.